Welcome, your war chief is back with another epic video. Hi, my name's PBE, but you lovely people are more than welcome to call me peeps. While BFA was lackluster at best, there are some things that I will legitimately miss, and today that's what we're covering. Before jumping into it though, I'm live on Twitch, Mondays and Tuesdays, 7.30 p.m. Eastern, playing Warcraft. Also live on Thursdays, playing Final Fantasy XIV or a variety game. I also do some sneaky streams in between because streaming's fun. Why not? And if you like Warcraft, you like nerdy stuff, well, honey, you're home. Hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, ring that bell. That way you'll get notifications for all my upcoming videos. He sees a bird. He's been at this bird all morning. I'm sorry. The joys of owning a boxer. All right, let's jump in. First things first, the storytelling. Think of the history of the last few expansions. Start in Draenor. Draenor, while considered a failure in Blizzard's eyes. Me though? Might take some convincing. I liked it. There was a couple choice zones. Now think Shadowmoon Valley. Think Talador. The strength of storytelling showed. Now move on to Legion. Those leveling zones were stunning. Even the shitty one was great. And that's High Mountain, in case you're wondering. It was High Mountain. Generally speaking, these zones had their very well-declared storyline within them, and it was fantastic. And BFA followed suit. Say what you want about BFA. You cannot tell me that those zones were not beautifully written. Except Storm Song. Fuck Storm Song. I will miss stories like the Loa in Nazmir, or those ghost stories in Drustvar. So good. I love them all so much. The characters. Following suit with the storytelling theme, the characters that were introduced were amazing and the characters that were reintroduced or they were showing their progress was incredible. I mean, Queen Talanji? So good. She showed you strength of spirit, strength of character, development. So good. Proudmoor's mother? Bwam Samdi? Bwam Samdi kicked some ass. It was great. And then the evolutions of characters like Lillian Voss, Kalia Menethil, Rokan, Baratheon. We loved his evolution. All of these people, even if they were mentioned in small quests, showed such beautiful writing you cared for these characters, you were invested. I really hope they maintain this going forward. It was something that again started in Draenor, the Rel, and then went into Legion like people like Thalysra. Still salty the Alliance didn't get that race, but that's a whole other story. And today we're given more and it's so good. It's everything I wanted. The war campaign. Stay with me. I really like the progressive storytelling. I can pick it up on any character and know exactly where I'm at in the story, regardless of which patch we're on. And it was all clearly indicated. That is an incredible new addition to how Warcraft works, and I really hope they continue that in Shadowlands. It's simple, easy to follow structure. And that's regardless of your opinion on how it was written. 8.1 was really good, 8.2 was questionable, 8.3, well, we're just gonna forget about 8, 8.3 didn't happen, okay? No. 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 This setup of the war campaign and its progression was brilliant. The Tortolans. I like the world quests, okay? But to be fair, I like the Karen Tours back in Legion. Yes, I was completely sold on that, but it's different. Sue me. Deep down, the storytelling of the zones and the characters was what was strong in this expansion. And I'm okay with that. And I really hope that it just gets better and better, which honestly, she looking good. All right, so what are you guys going to miss about BFA? Let me know in the comment section down below. 
And if you like this video, give me a big old thumbs up. If you didn't, well, I'm just kidding. Go ahead, be honest with me. That's what I appreciate the most. And keep in mind that I am live on Twitch, Mondays and Tuesdays, 7.30 p.m. Eastern, playing Warcraft. We're also playing on Thursdays a variety game, lately Final Fantasy XIV, and some sneaky streams in between. Why not? And if you like me, you like what I do, you like the lore and stuff, go ahead, hit that subscribe button. And while you're down there, ring that bell. That way you'll get notifications on my upcoming videos. I upload Tuesdays and Thursdays every week. And if you made it this far, I'm going to leave my last video up here. It's a neat little video on reasons why I like the Horde. I, I know, right? For the Alliance. For the Alliance! And I am going to apologize very quickly for the boxer butt you guys had to deal with the entire video. He wants that bird. He's been at it all morning. All right, I love you all very much, and I can't wait to catch you on the next one. Or live. Bye! BFA had some good points, you know. I mean, it wasn't Cataclysm. Remember? That was a thing.